let's see all these menus and also the top menus this is a hyundai kia the same we are going to select from left to right press this button here and then up and down with the ok just wiggle it up and down and press on it to enter on, on this same button so if i would just press on this thing you will see what happens it's going to scroll here at the top so i'm pressing that file button if you want this is the speed of the car you cannot change we are in canada kilometers hour in these years you cannot change from kilometers to miles you either have one or the other one you notice here i have four other small options so i'm going to use this to go up and down let's go up this is going to be trip average and you can reset it by pressing okay down if you want let's reset it trip b uh, normally there you have i need to keep it down for a few seconds let's continue for the next one is going to be perhaps trip a i'm going to reset it again just keep this down for a few seconds and it did reset let's move for the next one so this is the range this is the average consumption I don't think you can change it for uh, this is liters per 100 kilometers I'm not sure if you can change it for to mpg I'm not sure about this it's, uh, so this is the last in that menu right now I'm going to press the file to move to the next menu to the right this is going to be the navigation if you want to have information while you use the navigation this one is going to be your driving alert this is a full equipped car with the radars next one is going to be your radio information station and so on this is the service if you want not sure if you can press here no so this is the service interval it's in the other settings i'm going to move to the scroll well it's all the main settings if you want so first one it's driving assist i'm going to just wiggle this up and down and press on it to enter the arrow so if i would press on ok it brings me here scc i don't know what this means this is all uh assistance assistance for driving let's just go back door trunk options auto lock disable uh, so this is going to be the doors if you want to lock them when the car starts moving and so on and so on uh, you see other options when you shift on p so basically you just scroll down if you want press on ok to select what you want and move back with the back button uh, so again these are other options smart trunk i think when you move past the trunk with your k uh, fob in your pocket after a few seconds the trunk will open by itself okay lights so uh turn signal uh, when you just uh touch it once let me just put my hand a bit more to better position so when i will just turn uh, touch the signal the stalk you notice i just touch it once and it does blink a couple of times by itself so it depends uh, mine is set to five blinks so i just basically i just touch it like this look at what happens there i did not fully engage i i can also engage it fully but this is much easier and very very nice it's very useful let's just uh, move back so headlamp delay i believe when you park your car close your car you may still have headlights for a few seconds on so you see where you are walking maybe inside your garage and so on this is perhaps in in uh, cabin lights when you open the doors or maybe also uh, the uh, handle lights outside you can select them uh sound uh, park assist so okay this is for the park assist so the lower it's one when you reverse this car has uh just the 
uh, in the rear of the car park assist now to exit, the, exit this I'm going to press OK and it does exit uh, welcome sound I'm not a big fan perhaps when you start the engine or when you open the doors it's going to say something in Korean or some other language seat steering you have um, when you open your car you can set your steering and seat to move back a little bit to for an easier entry it's going to do automatically i disengage this because i don't like this electrical motors work too much and when they break down they are really expensive to repair so i selected none my seat doesn't move back and forth uh, steering position I'm not really sure what this exactly is but the steering um, it's manual you adjust it manually I'm not sure what that means perhaps it does alert you when the steering is not centered when you start the engine but uh, someone may confirm this okay service interval for some people it depends uh, if you want to have some sort of alert these are kilometers and mounts so you don't forget when you want to uh, you can also interesting I didn't know you can change this uh, I'm pressing on OK to move across the numbers and I'm going to guess I'm going to move the OK switch up and down yes to change the digit so basically up and down to change the digit and uh, OK, press down to advance to the next digit and when it's at the end, I'm going to keep pressing like this when it's at the end, it exits the uh, this menu so you can only uh, change those digits there uh, again, the same, I'm pressing on OK a third time and it did exit the menu and obviously you can uh, move OK up and down to uh, change the digits itself okay save no I don't need let's move to other features um, auto reset I believe this is when you uh, stop the car perhaps the average mpg goes to zero every time so i prefer to have the average mpg over a much longer period of time months years okay we do have a uh, yeah fuel economy unit this is more like um, canada and europe liters spent per 100 kilometers which is what i have now and asia but i believe they calculate in kilometers uh, how many kilometers you get for one liter uh, again uh, I'm not sure why uh, we get this uh, in Canada uh, perhaps it's for the Korean people but we do not get either US MPG or UK MPG so unfortunately but we do have the temperature <laughs> um, uh, temperature unit you can change it uh, gear position I do have this Perhaps this is the display when you change your uh, your uh, transmission position. Okay, so let's just move back. Maybe this is the last thing. Yes, this is the last thing. And by the way, you can just go at the at the top and at the bottom of the uh, menu just by uh, with the wiggle. You don't have to scroll all the menu down. You just can navigate from top to bottom. So this is it. Uh, you can also uh, look perhaps in the um, display menu this is the large display being the limited uh, uh, option trim <coughs> where you have other options here but again like i said perhaps this is one of the uh, most common questions do you can you display um, miles per hour kilometers per hour no not on these models there have been discussions on forums uh, sometimes people just don't have the correct information and they say yes uh, no it's not possible on these streams only the cars that are made the models after 2020 or so and up on those models you may display actually both the uh, miles per hour and kilometers per hour at the same time but unfortunately not here the only thing that you can do is when you use the navigation there is a setting in the navigation to give you the distances in navigation but not the speed the distances in miles instead of kilometers that is the only option and it's reserved for the navigation part when you use the 
uh, Navi uh, button. And I have a video showing how to use navigation, how to cancel addresses, how to put new addresses, because it's not easy. You need to use especially the Navi button and the uh, other buttons on the screen at the same time. So this Navi button here is very, I mean, it's the most important part uh, button for the navigation, for entering addresses, for canceling addresses and so on. If you are looking only on the screen when using navigation, you are going to uh, make the uh, uh, just go around the world and never come back home again. Okay, thanks for watching and just look in the comment section, maybe subscribe. I have other videos about this. Uh, models uh, and uh, maybe check them out the playlist. Thanks for watching.